Intel has listed down several next generation CPU and GPU products on its official webpage, which include the likes of Raptor Lake, Meteor Lake, XEHP DG2 graphics cards, and several HPC class designs such as Emerald Lake and Ponte Vecchio. Now, while we have all heard all of these products at some point, the official listings also provide some additional details and all credit goes to Kamachi and Momomo underscore US for finding these out. Now, if you want to see more on Raptor Lake and Meteor Lake CPUs, those details are in the link down in the description below. But today's video, we're going to focus on the GPU side of the equation. At least now we have details regarding several SKUs and configurations of the XE HPG DG2 GPU. Video Cards has done an absolutely terrific job in gathering all of the data available, which confirms at least three primary DG2 SKUs that exist, which include the 512EU, the 384EU, and the 128EU chips. Now each SKU will feature multiple variants with different configurations, and we don't know the final naming convention that Intel would use for its various DG2 GPU configurations, but they can keep it simple with going with DG2 512, DG2 384, and DG2 128. Now these would be similar to how Nvidia and AMD would name their various GPU configurations such as Ampere GA102, GA104, GA106, and AMD's Navi 21, 22, and 23 GPUs. Each XE HPG based DG2 GPU SKU will come in various configurations which will range from the full fat chip to several cut down variants. Now this is similar to Nvidia's Ampere GA102-400, GA102-200 naming schemes, or AMD's Navi21 XTX, XT, and XL naming conventions. Now the top DG2 512EU variant is just one configuration listed so far and utilizes the full die with 4096 cores. 256 bit bus interface and up to 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. 8 gigabytes GDDR6 is listed as well. Based on demand and yields, Intel's could produce more variants of this flagship chip, but we can't say for sure just yet. Now moving on, we have the HPG DG2 384 GPU SKU, which is expected to comprise of at least three variants. The full fat chip, which will be 3072 cores, up to 12 gigabytes of G6 memory, 6 gigabytes is also listed, and a 192 bit bus interface. We have two variants, the 256EU and the 192EU variants, which is comprised of 2048 and 1536 cores. While both variants feature a 128-bit bus interface, the 256EU SKU will come with up to 8 gigabytes of G6 memory, 4 gigabytes is listed as well, and the 192EU variant will stick with just 4 gigabytes of G6 memory. Based on the specifications, these GPUs will be positioned as mainstream parts, and video cards had earlier leaked out the die configuration for the DG2384 GPU, which would measure 190 mm square. Now the PCB blueprint shows six memory module locations, which do confirm a 192-bit bus interface with either 6 or 12 gigabytes of G6 memory capacity. Then lastly, we have the HPG DG2 128 EU parts. Now the top configuration is once again the full fat SKU with 10 24 cores, a 64-bit bus interface, and 4 gigabytes of G6 memory. The cutdown variant will come with 96 EUs or 768 cores and 4 gigabytes of G6 memory featured across a 64-bit bus interface. Now this GPU will be very similar to DG1 GPU-based discrete SDV board. However, DG2 will have more improved architectural designs and definitely more performance uplift over the first-gen XE GPU architecture. Now this lineup is definitely going to be aimed at the entry level desktop discrete market based on these specifications. Now let's circle back and with this one being the biggest GPU in the stack, the DG512EU will be based on the BGA2660 socket whereas the smallest SKU, the DG2128EU will be based on the BGA1379 socket. Now the list also says that the GPU SKUs will be featuring varying G6 memory speeds starting from 14 gigabits per second on the entry level all the way up to 18 gigabits per second on the flagship designs. And while discrete graphics cards will be available, Intel will also be unleashing its DG2 discrete GPU lineup on the Mobility Tiger Lake H and Alder Lake P notebooks. All right, guys, I want to thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you liked what you saw here, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there. 
hit the bell notification so that we don't miss you in the future. And if you want to catch out something you may have missed, hit up the links over here on this side. And we'll catch you in the next one.